I originally called because I wanted to answer the biblical question. What connects you with the physical world? And so you are concerned about how you, phys- how you physically look, right? Well, yeah, I am. I'll, I'll say it that way. Am I a cricket letter, cricket letter, I cricket letter, cricket letter, I hum back, hum back. Ah, is how you spell Mississippi. Ania, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, Uncle Jesse. How are uh, you? I don't know if you remember me or not, but... Um, Never ask a in. black man if he remembers. Right, but I want to remind you anyway. I was the one that called you about the job, you know, if I should take it or not. Okay. You, oh, it doesn't ring a bell. Uh, no. Well, anyways, I just want to give you an update on it, that I did take the job. Oh, nice. And it turned out to be a good decision because now I was able to afford a place. Right and get on. out of my aunt's house, so that was that was the right decision. So thank you for helping me to make it. Um, Congratulations! But originally, I thank you. I originally called because I wanted to answer the biblical question. What connects you with the physical world? Um, I think the primary or one of the primary things for me, especially as a woman, considering that it's female um, Monday, is my desire to be beautiful. And <laughs> I've struggled, I've struggled heavily with that because I would look in a mirror and see flaws and, and, and hate myself for, or I'd feel like bad or that I need to do something about it to, to make myself feel better, to feel more beautiful. Um, and now that I've learned that it's, um, I'm not my body and I'm not my thoughts, um, you know, I'm taking time out to kind of overcome that. Um, so yeah, that's really what it was. That's for me. amazing. Yeah. What do you think you, about that, Uncle? Here's what I think. You are so beautiful <laughs> to me. You are so beautiful to me. I think that's amazing. And I want to respond to the biblical question, but I have to wait until um, uh, I have to wait until Sunday, but it's very, very interesting. But do you have any ideas like on the whole beauty concept at all? Uh, the only thing that's beautiful about the woman or anyone is the heart. When you don't have anger in your heart, there's nothing left but beauty. And you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. So stay with the silent prayer, and you'll see what happens. You're on the right track. Do you still feel that way about yourself? Uh, Yeah, it comes. It comes. like It's... um constant uh, warfare internally about, you know, the way that I look. Because I was born with certain defects, and from a young child, when I became more self-conscious of myself, I kind of hated God, so to speak, for I thought he cursed me um, with these things. And um, I'm just kind of learning now oh, okay. to overcome, because the devil constantly reminds me. Every time I look in the mirror, I can't help but to see it. Right. And, and, it, and I feel this pain that I need to do something about it. But I know... There's nothing I can do. I mean, this I, this is something I was born with, so I can't I can't get rid of it. No. How, how old are you now? I'm 22. Oh, okay. I totally understand that as a young 22 year old girl. I understand that. Here's what I want you to do: when you, first of all, the people that tease you while growing up, and the people that would try to hurt you with it even now. Forgive them. They know not what they do. They have no love. They only have hate, and they want to draw you into their hatred, hateful world, because human beings' hearts are evil, and they are constantly roaming the earth to see who they can hurt to bring into their hell, and they call it life, all right? So forgive them. And when when you do look in the mirror and you see it, have no, have no, don't call it you. Just see it without communication. 
And secondly, you are not your body. So don't identify with the body at all. Don't call it your look. Just I was born with a cleft palate. My lip was split in the middle. I had to grow up with that. I had a big head like my daddy. Can you imagine kids teasing me? But I come to realize that I had nothing to do with it. What the? And I'm not my body. So if you constantly remember that, you're going to be fine. Yeah, thank uh, you, Uncle Jesse. Can you hold for me? Yes. All right, hold on. Do you know who Joel Friday TV is? Yeah, we used to dance together. I used to um, do private sessions with him, with him and my mom. Oh, he asked me. I don't me. know if he remembers me or not, but yeah. yeah. He, he told me to tell you hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, Joel. Nice to see you. He said, tell Anil. I said, Hi. Oh, yeah, I, I really enjoy my time um, dancing with him. I love to dance, too. So, you know, we black. Black people love to dance. So. <laughs> That's he right. Black. He black. <laughs> Do you know he's on, he has a show here every day except my, Friday at 11 a.m.? Yeah, I, I actually watch his show, and I know he was actually talking about the subject of beauty, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I found that to be interesting. Um, And so you are concerned about how you phys- how you physically look, right? Well, yeah, I am. I'll, I'll say it that way. But I know it's not me. Right. But I, it is, I've had a obsession with it for so many years. And um, I've been trying to, like, so fix it, so to speak. But nothing is really working. Um, so now I'm just learning that maybe it's time for me to give up. Uh, so, like, do you have, like, a, de- a physical defect? Yeah. It's, um, it's, I, I consider it to be that. It's not like really, really bad, but it's like bad to me. <laughs> and would the average person notice it if they just saw you? No, because I, I have, you know, I wear clothes, so I don't like dress certain, you know, revealingly. Oh, so no, it's, it, it under, it's underneath your clothes and not on your face or anything? No. Oh, what the? <laughs> and, <laughs> Nobody can see it but me. <laughs> <laughs> and so if no one can see it but you, why you put so much concern on it, into it? Um, because I, I, well, I purposefully hide it, too. Like, if I were to show off my leg, so to speak, then you would be able to see it. Like, it's noticeable then. Oh, okay. So I kind of hide, yeah. Oh, here's so what I, I want it. you to do. I recommend you try this and let me know how it goes, all right? Okay. The next time you see it, Let's say you're getting out of the shower or whatever, right? you're changing clothes, and you see it. I want you to see it and then pay attention to what the thoughts are telling you about it and then let those thoughts pass. Don't call them you, and they're not from God. Don't just observe them and let them pass without having a conversation with them or anything. I guarantee you, if you should do that without having a conversation with the thoughts without calling it you, without calling it good or bad, I guarantee you that ego feeling about it would disappear and you would get to a point where you never even think about it. I guarantee you that. You'll be able to see it and you remember. You won't even remember to, it was that important to you. It's all yeah. in the thoughts. Okay. It's not even real. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I believe you on that. I just, it, it just hurts. You know, the pain is just so overwhelming. It does make you want to give up. But, but I, I don't want to. I want to get to the end of this, uh, the whole overcoming. And we said, but it's not hurting in the in the physical part. But it's in the mind where it's hurt, right? The ego. Well, yeah, but when I feel the, like, the emotional pain, I feel it like in my, in my upper stomach. It's kind of weird. Like, yeah. I kind of feel it there. And that's yeah, where and the devil dwell. It's because you get when you see it, quickly the thoughts give you a feeling about it, a thought about it. And because you don't catch the thoughts, the feeling, the pain come because you're not catching the thoughts. But if you catch the thought before they can bring the pain, you'll be free from it. And eventually the thoughts will totally disappear and there will be no, no more thinking about it at all. Because all those thoughts about it are evil, 
and they are not your thoughts at all. Just think about this. You would never look at your body and, and, and make up a thought that would make you feel bad about it, right? No. And so, and so those are not your thoughts that are making you think or feel that way. You yeah, gotta, so. you got, you gotta practice looking at those thoughts, and listen. And, and you gotta, if they're talking to you about whatever it is, just watch it and don't call it you. And if you're caught up, you feel the pain, but don't call it you. You're not the pain. You're not the body. You're not the thoughts. And I, I promise you, they'll eventually be taken away from you, and it'll be no big deal. And you won't believe that you should think that it was a big deal. Okay. Yeah, I I think that's what it is. Maybe I I would look and I just immediately feel something, but Be I think I wasn't really conscious of the thought. One hundred percent, because you can't have the feelings unless you get the thoughts. You cannot get so-called good feelings or bad feelings without the thoughts first. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to definitely take your advice. Thank you, Uncle Jesse. You're welcome. And so watch those. Uh, are you doing the silent prayer every morning and night? Yes, every morning, every night. Well, practice. I don't skip a beat. Right on. And then so during the day, practice keeping your mind where your body is. Okay. And so, yeah, I, I try to do that. But I feel like when I do that, I'm, it, it feels like I'm putting an effort into it, and I try not to. And then I'll try to relax into it, and then it feels like I'm putting an effort into relaxing. Well, whatever. <laughs> then it's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> whatever it is you're thinking and feeling, don't call it you, and you continue to practice being present. It's just the demons trying to talk you out of doing it, period, because the last thing the imagination, which is evil, want you to do is to see it. It doesn't want you to be aware of it. And so it'll tell you, oh, you're trying so hard to be aware. Oh, you're doing this. You're putting too much effort. Yeah. Don't believe that either. You just still work on yourself. And if it gets so rough that it look like you just can't handle it, ask God mm -hmm. to help you. God help me. Even though you don't know who God is at this point, <laughs> you still ask. God knows who he is, and God knows who, what you're going through. He understands why you don't know. But the fact that you're asking to give you some light to help you with this, the light will come because you're inviting it. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Thank you, Uncle Jesse. And congratulations on your job and your own place to live. Oh, Amazing. yeah, this is my second one. I ended up losing my first job and had to move out, but I kind of got back on my feet with this new job, so it, it was really helped me. Right on. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. And call me if you have any other questions or just want to make a comment, all right? Okay, and also really quick, I'd like to say thank you for that song, Uncle Jesse. It was just so nice. You're welcome. <laughs> I love when you sing every time. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I have a good one. I'll call you later. Okay. Okay.